jobs now requiring experience in chat GPT and they'll pay as much as $800,000 $800, per year, guys. You guys know about open open uh, AI's chat GPT because I've been talking about it for quite some time. So I don't need to tell you exactly what it is. But think about it like this. It's a language based AI model that allows for you to uh, type in text and it will respond back to you in the chat format or give you the information that you basically need. Right. And there's many jobs that can leverage this. And they are looking for people who can use these tools to become to make their job easier, to become more creative, more productive, and so forth, right? And there was a recent study that was done on the job site resume builder that found that 91% of companies with open positions are looking to hire workers who know how to use OpenAI's chat GPT. That's on resume builder, guys. 91% of companies with open positions are looking for people, right? who has experience in chat GPT and it all it takes is for you to go and experience with it. And you will be able to see how mind blowing AI is and how mind blowing it's becoming. Right. And a lot of people are so scared right now. They're saying, Hey, you know what? It's going to replace me. It's going to replace my job. It may be right. If, if you're the type of person, you don't like to change. You don't, you don't want to change. You are, you know, what you're stuck doing the same thing over and over again you're probably going to be replaced. And I would encourage you not to be that type of person. Be the person that understands that change happens all the time. And you need to be able to adapt. And when you adapt and you embrace change, you'll see that there are many opportunities that are out there. But what are some of the roles that they're looking for in order for you to, or what roles are they looking for to bring on people to use ChatGPT? Well, marketing professionals. Right. They're looking companies are looking for workers with knowledge of ChatGPT to fill their marketing roles with a hope that leveraging ChatGPT will help them with their marketing strategy. So if you're in marketing, guys, and you have a good understanding of ChatGPT, just just understand that how this can help you to write messaging that will relate to people because it's pretty darn smart. Right. And you got a company. Um, called Lasso MD, a San Diego based healthcare company, is hiring a full time social media product manager who will make between $50,000 and $70,000 a year. And they're looking for somebody with chat GBT experience. They're looking for somebody with chat GBT experience to help them with product workflows, right? So if you're in marketing and you have a good amount of, or if you um, want to make a good amount of money within your career, Go ahead and start to experience and explore with Chat GPT, and uh, and and if you were looking to make a, a job change, right? This is a job right that, that, that's right there for you. Full time social media product manager, right? Now, is that a lot of money? Eh, it's 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 entry level money, but fifty thousand to seventy thousand, that is you know could be a good amount of money for some people. Check it out, guys. Check it out. Another one: AI machine learning engineers. AI machine learning engineers. This is our brother, um, engineer cannabis, who's here in the chat. But uh, a, a HR firm is recruiting for a company uh, called Scratch, and they're hiring a remote senior machine learning engineer for a client. And the position comes with a salary of anywhere in between $120,000 to $185,000 a year and requires familiarity with the current AI2 chat GPT, an AI image generator. So you see that these companies now are saying, guys, we want people who have experience in chat GPT. It's another job for you guys out there that exist. You know, you can uh, break into the tech space, especially if you have to get skills. You played around with chat GPT, go and apply for that position. Another one for interface AI, right? They're looking for a remote machine learning engineer, entry level role that pays in between $130,000 to $170,000 a year. Bad my goddamn button, you know what? I, I would hit that right now. Entry level, guys, 130000 to 170000 a year. Think about that, guys. Computer science majors, computer engineering majors, software engineer majors. If you have experience with chat GPT, are you just playing around with it on your spare time? Applying for a role like this? Getting into a company like this? Getting paid anywhere from one hundred thirty to one hundred seventy seventy thousand dollars entry level, the sky's the limit. 
I mean, you can continue to climb the ladder. And before you know it, two or three years out of your career, in your career, not out of your career, in your career, you're making $200,000, $250,000. That's a lot of money, guys. That's a lot of money. Software developers, you already know software developers you know, using AI and so forth, right? They can enhance, it can enhance, you know, the, the code that they write. It can enhance, you know, the bugging the code and help them write more programs faster and so forth. But using it will help them as well, too, within their career. And a lot of people are just scared, right, with software developers. They're saying, hey, you know, AI is going to write my code for me. Well, uh, you still have to tell it what you want to write. And that's going to take the human, you know, the, the human experience. So, you know, software developers, I wouldn't say you need to be scared with artificial intelligence. You just need to understand it because it can be efficient for you as well. Instead of you spending eight hours trying to debug programs, uh, you can pretty much give it the code and say, you know, what? where am I, you know, encountering an error? And it would probably find it for you. So it makes you, makes your job, you know, a lot easier. Makes your job a lot easier. But AI model trainers, these people as well. Guys, these are, um, you know, I don't even know what an AI model trainer is. I haven't read this article, but Crystal Equation IT staffing agency is hiring a data labeling analyst who will be responsible for identifying potential weaknesses and vulnerabilities in the large language model. So the job pays $13 to $18 an hour. And experience using ChatGPT and its rival Google, Google Bard is required. That is interesting, man. That is very interesting. So it's an analyst job that will pay you anywhere from thirteen to eighteen dollars an hour. That doesn't require you to go to school. It does not require you to go to school, guys. That does not require you to go to school getting paid thirteen dollars to eighteen dollars an hour. Matter of fact, if you want to get paid more than that, check out Course Careers. Check out Love It Careers. Right. Check out those programs that I'm talking about. Copywriters, copywriters, copywriters who use AI for marketing campaigns can get paid anywhere from $80,000 to $100,000 a year. Full-time senior copywriter produces content for its marketing campaigns. They're looking to pay that person $80,000 to $100,000 a year. It's a good amount of money, man. Teachers, and we all know teachers, you need to make more money, right? Because <laughs> higher education system don't pay you very well unless you are working for a university. You're working for a private institution. We already know you public school teachers. You ain't getting paid that much. And plus, you have to deal with poor parenting kids and uh, and all this craziness that's going on into these schools of, you know, people wanting to be cats and dogs and meow all over the place, right? Um, you know, you're not getting paid a lot of money to have to deal with this, this, this nonsense. So teachers who use ChatGPT can help with the aid of student learning. And it can make your job a lot easier as well, too. And they got a company that's hiring in New York City. I don't know if uh, <laughs> Oliver Scholars, it's a nonprofit that prepares underserved students in New York City to attend prestigious schools. And they're hiring a part time summer history instructor that's paying uh, that. And they'll pay you anywhere from fifty two hundred to ten ten thousand over the semester. And the instructor will be responsible for teaching students how, how to use chat GPT for learning purposes. There you go. Here you go. You can make some money teaching people how to use it as well to product managers. This is and this is the one that will blow your mind because you got a company called Real Chemistry. And they're hiring a senior product manager for its generative AI division. And it's a remote job. Right. So you get to sit in the conference of your home, in your basement, in your um, your in-laws basement like I'm doing right now. <laughs> Working right. But you get to get paid anywhere between $150,000 to $175,000 a year. And it said the candidate must have deep interest in generative AI tech, according to the job listing. But, guys, that's that's a good amount of money. And you also have the ability to be, um, you know, to work remote and make that sort of a money. That's That's quite nice, man. That's actually quite nice. And then, you know, earlier this month, Crossover, a search engine, for remote jobs, closed this application for a senior director of product management and a chief product officer. Both positions offered $800,000 salaries and required that the applicants apply chat GPT to their work. $800,000, guys. That's what they're paying these days for people with AI experience, with just AI experience. Just imagine 
just imagine, right, if you just play with it yourself and you already are advancing your career and you are a product manager, these are the jobs that you can be applying for. Maybe that, you know, $90,000 that you're getting today isn't a lot of money for you and you want to make more. You want to climb. You want to do something else. You want to get into the tech space. Play around with ChatGPT. Play around with AI tools like Google Bard, ChatGPT, and so forth. There's other ones that are out there that if you just play with it and you'll see how easy it is to pick up, you can teach people this stuff. You can use it to become more efficient in your job. You can use it to apply to new jobs. You can use it to put yourself in a position to get $800,000 salary packages like this chief, uh, chief product officer and the director of product management for this company uh, crossover. That's a lot of money, guys. That's another that, that that's another goddamn button that I would have hit this now for you know anybody getting a salary of eight hundred thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. That is an absolute lot of money, guys. Eight hundred k, fellow Jalo says yes, eight hundred k, man. That is a lot of money. I I say this: if you guys aren't using ChatGPT, you're shooting yourself in the foot. Brother Christian says this. Tech is for the people who are driven and willing to learn no matter your age. You're absolutely right, Christian. Age has nothing to do with it. If you're looking to learn and you're looking to and, and, and you want to grow in some aspect of your life, tech is it. Tech is it. Engineer Cannabis said they will pay 800 k and more if you understand how to build and improve ChatGPT using new deep learning and reinforcement tools, learning models. Damn, boy, I thought 800K was enough, man. Engineer Candy would say they're giving you even bigger bags than 800K, man. <laughs> oh, that's big time. That is absolutely big time, man. That is absolutely big time. Bella Jalo said, I use ChatGPT to redo my resume, and man, it's so powerful. I'm getting more views on my LinkedIn, and recruiters are reaching out to me more. I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you right now, when people book coaching sessions, I show them the power of things like chat GPT because they'll say, Hey, Antoine, what do you think about this resume? It's not getting a lot of looks and so forth. And I'll say, okay, well let's read through it. And I'll read through it. And I'll say, ah, you can improve that. You can improve that with this and this and this summary, get rid of your bullet points or revamp your bullet points. And I'll take their resume with them on a zoom call or a team's call with me. And I would put that in chat GPT and say, rewrite this, you know, and so that it fits a role for this job description. And it will rewrite it for them. And it sounds so much better. And it would improve their resume. And next you know, they're super happy. But they never used the chat GPT before, so they didn't understand how powerful it was. And Brother Bello Jello is saying that just now. He used chat GPT to redo his entire resume, not having to pay anybody for it, right? And his resume is getting more views on LinkedIn, and recruiters are reaching out to him more. That's what you guys want. You want opportunities. And you have tools like that that are efficient, like chat gpt it's going to help you out guys jeff you says this i'm learning uh i'm using chat gpt to learn html man chat gpt is a heck of a tool it's very simple to use it is it's very simple to use i'm talking about you know my little daughter who is eight year old can use chat gpt it's that easy to use Zalika said can you make a comprehensive video on the fields and study and skills needed to be can to stay competitive in tech please i can do that i think i can do that but Look at that won't even be a difficult video to 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 make because at the end of the day, right? We're talking about fields. You always got to look at the future. What is the future? The future is tech. The future is AI. The future is you know uh, new financial models like fintech, new financial tools. The future is um, new sources of energy that may come out. Right. The future is all these industries that are going to continue to grow. Right. But amongst that, amongst the fields, right, the skills that you're going to need or well, the skills that you're going to need is things around data, the ability to communicate, the ability to build relationships with people. If you have these certain fundamental skills, right, you're going to be pretty safe across the board in any sort of industry. The challenge though, is that people aren't doing the basics. They aren't getting the basic skills that you need, the ability to communicate. That's why I always talk about tech sales because one of the things that people don't understand is that communication is 
the number one skill that you need in order for you to do anything. So being an effective communicator, this enhances your ability to do even more. So that, you know, if you're a very good communicator, I recommend things like tech sales. If you are very good at building relationships with people and you like people, I recommend things like tech sales. If you are a very good problem solver and you're a person that likes to code and, you know, analytics and you're analytical thinker and you don't like people as much, I recommend some of the technical fields and so forth. But I can definitely think about a comprehensive video uh, on that, Zalika. Uh, but I would want to know a little bit more of things that I can dive into and uh, I can put something out there like that.